what's up you guys welcome back to our channel and today i wanted to make a quick little video about um a couple things in the trust so just so you guys can get to know a little bit about what i do um a little bit about the gauges and uh stuff like that to check on the truck because sometimes i'm waiting so i literally set up the phone right here and i just watch tv or on the phone sometimes or whatever anyways um some of the gauges that i have here is just my engine oil um, I kind of forget, oh, sorry, there's a glare. Anyways, the engine oil right there, I kind of forget what it's supposed to be at, but I'm pretty sure that's where it's supposed to be at. That's my water temperature. That's fine. It could be between anywhere between 170 to 200. Um, for, your oil, for your oil pressure, I, I think it's supposed to be between 30 to 45 PSI. Um, I think it might need oil. The air pressure might be a little bit low, but it also depends when you're running. If you guys know when I accelerate it, it kind of just starts going up, so I'm not, I'm not too sure. And then uh, that's your uh, transmission. Um, transmission. It only says, uh, damn, that's not what temperature. Um, it looks like it's good right there. Not too bad. Um, you have your trip miles. And that right there, the 110 the hundred and ten Fahrenheit, I think that's just for um, the truck. It's not really for the outside, I believe. Obviously, RPM, just like a normal car. So my truck, and that's a miles per hour, uh, my truck is actually governed at 55 miles per hour. So what that means, Oh, I'm sorry, not 55. It's actually governed at 65 miles per hour. So what that means, you can uh, when I'm driving on the freeway, I can't pass 65 miles per hour. There's other trucks um, that are from the same company. Um, you can drive over 65 miles per hour. Mine's just the only one that's governed, and it sucks. And then there's some of them that also have GPS and stuff like that. So if you don't know the code and if you try to steal it, if you get like a mile away and you got to take it, it's going to turn off on either that or the dispatch is able to turn it off. At least that's what I was told. Mine doesn't have a GPS, so I don't know. Also have your battery thing right there. Your battery should be charged between, uh, that for sure I know is should be between 12 and 14 um, volts. And then you have your fuel. I have about a quarter tank today. I had to fill it up this morning, but I didn't fill it up. I didn't fill it up three quarters. And then your PSI, your PSI, that is your brake air uh, one and brake air two. So one of them is for your trailer. And I believe the other one is for your actual truck brake one. That, I believe that's for the truck. So that's, um, I'll show you guys the lines right now. Uh, but that right there should be between 100 and, I think 110 to, a, I might be wrong, but I think 115 to 120 PSI normal. Oh, sorry, I think it's 100 and, 115 between 225 PSI, no more than 130, I believe. And if you guys were outside the truck, you can actually hear when it goes pssst. That's because your air tanks, and I'll show you guys what those are right now. Those those means that those are filled, and that's basically just letting you know, like, okay, it's filled. That's basically just spitting out the extra air, and I'll show you guys right now. This is air tank one, air tank two, and you see the green line right here is for your trailer. Orange line is, is for the uh, trailer. But anyways, um, these are your air tanks right there, and once those are filled, that's when you hear that sound, and uh, that's how you know that they're full. You can see these little plugs right here. You can actually pull these and release the air. Um, that right there sometimes people pull these air because you can build moisture and in winter you don't want to build moisture in these because then they get frozen and then it's not enough air pressure it's just a whole bunch of solid in there so you definitely don't want to build any uh, moisture other than that I have these guys over here that's for your um, mirror here right there this one um, that one right there that's for your side mirrors just like a normal car your engine brake so in other words it, um, what an engine brake is instead of uh, braking with a um, with your actual brakes for your gas your brake pedal when you're going down the grapevine or mountains you could actually turn that on and the engine starts braking so it's kind of like lowering a gear in a normal car and um, you start braking instead of wasting your brakes because sometimes when you're going downhill your brakes um, wear out so much that it actually turns like super super red like and it turned red if you guys are watching this you guys are drivers and it, you guys are going downhill and your brakes turn red don't be dumb do not put water on your brakes if they are red red hot they will crack on you and you will be fucked. Do not put cold water on red hot brakes. They will crack on you. Off road right here, I think that, that's like a four by four right there. I'm not too sure, I don't need that kind of point out. You know, like PDL, I don't need it, so I don't know what it is. Your dump suspension, that basically means. I'll show you guys right now, when basically when, um, let's say one time I was in New Jersey and I was going down a hill, so every single truck actually meets 13.6, right? So that's 13 feet, six inches. And I passed under a bridge. The bridge was 13 feet, 4 inches. And man, I was so scared. Because if you're 13, 6 high and the bridge is 13, 4, you're going to hit that top. You're going to hit that the top of your truck. Sorry, I just ate a burrito. Baby, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I ate without you. 
anyways so basically what is you dump your suspension it lowers down the truck a lot but i think about it, i want to say maybe an inch or two inches so i was good there anyways um then you have your slide fifth wheel if you guys want to watch one of my other videos on the truck um you know what slide what your fifth wheel is and all it is just move your fifth wheel back and forth and that's it um you have your uh, fifth wheel jaw that's actually the with a locky pin closing it like i said you guys watch my other videos you know what i'm talking about and part regenerate that actually right there that is for um your exhaust here there's different levels of exhaust there's level one level two level three and uh, whenever three comes on that's basically the the temperature is high the dpf flashing and then you hear that sound beep 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 you have to pull over and uh regenerate we really do just push that um on park regenerate and that's pretty much it and then you have like i said my this is for your red line your trailer air supply and this is for the parking if you're not hooked up just um you would only push this one i can push this one right now too. Anyway, that's pretty much it. And then um, my phone, I carry a little bit of axe right here. Just a, just a small bit. And Rockstar. And then I see I need a burrito. And I have my water jug right here. My water jug. But just in case I need to drink some water or something like that. And a uh, little bit of gum. Not too much. Then I have my, uh, this is your gear shifter right here. So there's, um, you can see right here, there's your gears, um, low, high, and then it's um, your gear, uh, I think it's called the gear, uh, oh, sorry, it's called the range selector, the range selector. So this right here, this is your range selector. That's high, that's low. Screw line, this is for your truck. So it just helps it out. This is your red line. This right here, if you run out of any air pressure, this line is for the trailer. You will lock your wheels, and after you lock your wheels, you're basically you're done. And this is your electrical line for the left hand signal, right hand signal, four ways, and all that. Gas tank. And that's your fifth wheel, like I told you guys before. So that fifth, the king pin, and these are called your tandems right here. Your tandems, it has to be 40 feet. So this truck has to be between 40 and 41. That's the back axle. If you are, if those axles are slid back any more than 40 or 41 feet, that's a fat ticket in California. Show you guys. Radios, wait till that. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and try to show you guys. As uh, I'm still in the yard, so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of how to how to shift. Um, that is can actually just see my hand, pretty much it. Anchors down. Um, I am empty, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start off in fifth gear. That's in fifth gear, all the way to the right. I'm gonna take off. You can't take off like a car. Since I started in fifth gear, your next gear would be sixth gear. It's on high. And you shift it. When you go to the DMV, they make you double clutch. Uh, but since I'm not cleaning out the DMV, I don't double clutch. It's called floating your gears. So you just float your gears. Once you're at the right RPM, which is at like around 1300, move it to the next one. So like I was telling you guys, it is, um, it's called floating gears. And check it out. I'm gonna show you guys my RPM, all right? RPM right there at 15. I'm gonna go ahead and shift. And go down. shift it to the next one otherwise you get it's called missing a missing a gear it's really not that hard it's actually pretty simple um you can either learn how to, you can either float the gears real nice like i know you guys seen that facebook video of this guy that floats like he's driving a bus and he, he shifts it, like real nice like with two fingers and stuff you can either drive like that or you can grind it till you find it you know grind your gears till you find the right one oh well fuck it um but pretty much that's pretty much how you do it and um did i miss anything um so i'm pretty i'm stopped by the train right now don't take my time anyway so that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions or comments about other things that uh, other things damn my i'm way off today and if you guys have any more questions or comments or oh man if you guys want to know a little bit something about anything else um write it down in the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to um to let you guys know all about it i mean i love trucking um i've been doing it for about i want to say four years already um and i really like it it's it's one of the best decisions i want to say that i've ever made um but like i said thanks a lot you guys again for watching for all my supporters if you guys have any questions or any comments or any videos or are you guys want to see a video of me actually uh hooking up to the truck let me know and i'll be more than happy to make a video thanks a lot you guys for watching Peace.